How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is episode 26 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map, the Valley of the Old Farm. In our last episode, we bought this, the Crone Big M Mower, as well as the K Brand Tether on the back there. And going around all the fields and doing some contract work, it did an amazing job. Just top-notch spectacular. I love this setup. The unfortunate part is is that we had to get rid of our little case mower and that thing just was a workhorse. It was a champ, but it was time to, to make the upgrade and to really start, you know putting uh you know, putting our our, our, our effort in to other things. This this allows us to be able to actually go out and do more work in less passes and not have to really spend so much time and effort uh, doing our mowing portion of our of our work but we are now in May that's right we went ahead a little bit to the next month and you can see that uh, we've got some more contracts uh, actually got a nope wrong one I got a weeding contract over on what is it field 35 and that looks like it's already done uh, no, it's almost done, so I'll have to go check up on them, see why they're not working anymore. Uh, but I also came back up to the shop for a reason. So this tatter has been working okay. On the harsh turns, it has been missing a bit. So I wanted to try something else out, and it might even be a cheaper solution, and actually kind of takes us backwards, um when we first started the farm. Uh, it just so happens that this may have been the solution from the start for, for this particular setup. So I just didn't know it yet. And there it is. This tether that we had at the very beginning of the series here, uh, because it's kind of built on this kind of pivot point here, this pin hitch, it well, hopefully as the back of the tractor or back of the mower kind of wiggles back and forth or, or goes into a, a long term, it, it should be able to kind of follow the path around as opposed to that being kind of fixed in place on the back side of it. It's not really going to follow the path of the swath. So it's a little bit smaller it's about seven ish meters this is just about nine meters so i'm losing a little bit of width but my hope is that that isn't going to be a big deal so i went ahead and purchased that uh particular tether and what i'm going to do is what i'm going to try and do let's go ahead and drop this off here and then i'm oh dear and then I'm going to hook up to it. I've got a couple of weeding con... Oh, no, sorry, not weeding contracts. I do have a weeding contract, but I've got a couple of uh, mowing contracts where the tether is going to come into play. But you can see, as I turn, how this kind of stays into place, and I'm hoping that it'll follow the windrow around as I go into each individual turn. So the fields that I have to do are fields 92 right there by the farm and uh, 87 so I'm gonna go ahead and drive over to 92 first and get that one done and hopefully this kind of works out the way that I'm hoping it will but I'll go ahead and cut us out here and see you over by the farm I'll see you in a little bit so while I was on the way over here, I ended up getting a text message saying the worker was done. They went ahead and returned the equipment, and I got paid. It was only 150 bucks. It was a small field, not a big deal. Oh, hey, you know what? Check it out. We got corn growing. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Got the little stalks starting to sprout. I'm okay with that. Awesome. And now we need to go to... Let's see, this side of the field over here, I can get in right here. This will work perfectly. Let's go ahead and drop this down. Turn that on. Drop this down. There we go. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Why? What do you mean I don't have access to this land? This isn't a hay. Oh, this is a silage. I, okay. I messed up on this one. But you know what? Hold on. So before I turn that off, check this out. It looks like my theory about this particular one is correct. See how as I'm turning, especially in these hard turns, it's following the, uh, following that swath. I think this is exactly what I was looking for. And this particular uh, windrower is only a thousand dollars. It's like a thousand three hundred bucks. It's really, really cheap. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this big time. Yes, awesome. Very happy with these results. Let's go ahead. Seems that we don't uh, actually need it for this contract. Yes. So. Even though it's every bit of, uh, well, almost two meters smaller than the other K-Brand tether that I had, this is actually going to work significantly better simply because it follows the tail of the, uh, of the mower around. So it doesn't make it to where I have like that stationary, uh, essentially stationary line that I have to follow and I don't have to sit there and back up move forward back up move forward over the patches that you know if I cut the wheel too hard that it's just gonna miss and it's not gonna be fruitful on this particular uh, field but on the next field over on what is it 87 that field will be the one where everything's gonna come together very nicely I think I'm looking forward to seeing how it works there, but I'll go ahead and cut us out here and I'll bring us back in as soon as we get over to the next field. See you in a bit. Alright, so we are approaching the next field. Was able to finish off the last one, got that all mowed, and now this is going to be the test. I, I thought the last one was, but this one is. Let's open that up, let's lower this down. Now I'm excited. I'm really excited to see how this all goes. So turn that on, turn that on. Here we go. Oh wow, that really that really flings out the uh the windrow, doesn't it? Huh. I mean it's not a big deal. I come by and pick it all up with the with the windrower itself so meh I mean that's kind of a bummer but because the uh, the K brand that I have does keep a tighter swath but all in all I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be worth it in the end to have this to, to where I'm gonna have to do less passes gonna do less you know less uh, "Quote unquote work." I mean, I'm still doing the same amount of work, but I'm having to go in reverse less. So it's less taxing on the vehicle, less gas that I have to use, the whole nine yards. So I think in the end, it's going to be better. So this is going to be our first test coming up right here around this corner. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but we shall see. All right, here we go. Oh yes, look at that. That worked out perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. That makes me happy. That's following behind the mower perfectly. I'm not having to you know, backtrack and go over spots I've already mowed. I'm just one and done. Yes, that is absolutely perfect. 
Now, once we make our second headland, what I plan on doing from there is setting off a worker and just making sure that everything works properly with the worker. Because it's one of those that the K brand tether worked perfectly fine with the worker, but for some reason this one might not. This one might have some kind of unintended consequence that might just completely ruin the whole, uh, you know, the whole happy feelings that we've got so far with this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the this headland. I'm going to finish the next one as well and then kind of go from there and kind of gauge it based on how the worker does. So I'll cut us back in here in just a little while. Alright, so as you can see, I'm going around picking up the, uh, oh, there we go, picking up all the swaths here on this field where we're having to make the silage bales, and unfortunately due to a horrific accident, uh, I had to replace my baler, so yeah, need needless to say, I decided to, to go a little bigger than what I had before a little bit better and now yeah yeah as you can see it's uh, it's running a bit better a bit faster than uh, what it used to ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting a little little out of control there there we go so it allows me to go up peak efficiency it works out very well and with this massive wind rower it really just kinda you know ups the game so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just keep working here and as soon as this field is done then I can grab the truck and load these over to the cell point which I believe if I'm not mistaken uh, McFadden farm that's right awesome are they both McFadden? They are both McFadden. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish making the bales here, and then I will uh, go ahead and head over to the other field where I've got to make bales over there. See you in a little bit. All right, I have finished all the baling here. I'm just kind of looking out to see if there's any little spots I missed because I'm just so close to one last bale, and... I'm not seeing any little spots so that that kind of stinks because just one more bale would have been just absolutely perfect to leave over here and then I would have started from scratch over at the hay contract but silage being so much more expensive than hay just would have been nice to have that little that little extra but I will go ahead and whoops, turn that off and go ahead and cut us back in as soon as I get to the hayfield. We'll see you in a bit. 
Alright, I am here at the field, just trying to get around all the traffic. There we go. Let's go ahead and fire up the baler. And just like that. Oh hey, we did make a silage bale. Nice. And because they're all going to McFadden Farms, I'll only have to do one uh, one trip out. So that'll work out just fine. Just fine indeed. Awesome. So yeah, this new baler here, I tell you what, it, I lost the other one due to some unforeseen circumstances, but I think at the end of the day, you know, it cost me, you know, an extra sixty thousand uh, dollars. I mean, basically, I, I lost thirty grand in the whole debacle, and then, uh, you know, come out of it with uh, a nice new baler that's, uh, you know, a bit better than the last one. So. I will, uh, uh-oh, oh boy, well, I was hoping to be able to back up and pick up the little bit in the corner, but that's okay. I mean, you can see just how well this particular baler works, It's it's got all the improved uh, motors and servos and every little detail is just a cut above the last bale baler that I had so now I'm uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with this but I will go ahead and finish baling this field and then I will bring us back in as soon as that's done I'm gonna have to go ahead and grab the uh, pickup truck to pick up all these bales and then we can uh, start thinking about some other things to do around here because there's uh, there's quite a bit of stuff that I need to get done around the around town here. So I'll cut us back in just a little while. Alright, so I ran back to the farm to go grab my truck and trailer. I'm going to go ahead and pick up all these bales here and take them over to McFadden Farms. As well as, uh, oh, just got a text saying that the worker is done. So hopefully that means that uh, nothing else is needed over. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Hopefully that means nothing else is needed over there. Here we go. Let's do this. Pick up all these bales around here. Let's see what we get off of this field. I'm rather curious.
All right, so we are approaching 20. We got that. 24 total bales. Whoops, missed that one. So not bad, the amount of bales that came off of this field. I'm hoping that uh, quite a few of them will be mine at the end of this. So I'm going to go ahead and run up to McFadden Farms and then I will uh, head back over to the other contract field to work on that one. We'll see you over there. Alright, I am here at McFadden Farms. I need to go ahead and get the crew out here to unload this because as you can see I'm not going to fit in where they store all the bales so I'm going to get the crew out they're going to help me out and I'll uh, bring it back in as soon as we're done we'll see you in a bit alright as you can see we made quite a bit of profit off of that one contract there and now I have to jet over to the other contract and go pick up the bales there We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, just pulling up to the field here. Let's go ahead and pick up all these bales. Let's see. There we go. I missed that one. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see how many bales we got off of this field. I think we got quite a bit over here. Certainly quite a bit more than the last field. And there we go, as you can see, the trailer is almost full. Got all the bales off the field, 32 in total. Now I'm gonna head back to McFadden Farms, turn these in, and should be good to go. All the contracts will be complete, and then I can focus on paying off the debt. After paying off the debt, I'll see and kind of assess where I'm at from there, because, you know, I've got to see how much money I have. I might, uh, might be able to go out and do something if I have enough money so let's uh, let's kind of see how it all works out but we'll see y'all back here in just a little bit all right I am pulling up on McFadden farm again and we'll go ahead and get the crew to unload this trailer once they're all done we'll see where we end up so we're starting at 243,000 let's uh, let's see what we get to we'll see you in a bit and there we go, got me all unloaded. And you can see we're up to 258,000. Let's go ahead and accept those last contracts and should be good to go from there. Let's see, boop, boop, there we go, excellent. Now let's go ahead and head over to the store where we can pay off our debt. You know, I got 286,000, I have 150K in debt. So gonna have a little over 100k when everything's all said and done. So that worked out real nice. 
that new mower going 150k into debt was well worth the price at the end of the day i think it, it took me less than a month to be able to pay off all that debt and i'm pretty happy pretty happy with that indeed so go ahead and park here i'm gonna run inside pay off my debts and be uh, good to go see you in a little bit All right, I just spoke with the financial manager here, and I am officially debt-free. As you can see, there is no outstanding loan. I have made quite a bit of money over these past couple of months, as you can see here. So, yeah, everything else is said and done. I'm pretty happy. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and hop in my truck and figure out my kind of next steps from here, because... I've got a couple of ideas rolling around and I might have enough money to do uh, to do them. So let's go ahead and take this trailer back to the farm. I will see you there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and park the bale trailer over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my uh, tipper trailer because it occurs to me I've got quite a bit of fertilizer over at the fertilizer production where I can go ahead and just uh, sell that off and just kind of increase my stocks, uh, stockpile of cash at the moment. So let's go ahead and head up here through the yard around all the chickens. There we go. And head over here. And does look like actually this all right so the alfalfa here is ready to harvest that means that that field should be ready to harvest as well for grass but these are both in stage one of growth i want to get them when they're in stage two so that will likely come next month there we go all right now i'm gonna head over to the fertilizer plant and pick up all the fertilizer there and sell it off we'll see you in a bit all right, so I'm making a pit stop here at the shop because one, I want to sell off the uh, tether there as well as the quick kitch. So let's go ahead and do that. So there it is. <clears throat> so we can repair, repaint, sell, repair, repaint, sell. And now this, I want to repair all my stuff here because it's uh, it's pretty down there. You can see the truck is about eh, almost a quarter of the way and everything else is about, uh, well, we got half here and a quarter here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's repair, repair, repair. So not too bad, not too bad at all. And as you can see, yep. That's going to run much nicer now. So now we got to make our way over to the fertilizer plant, which is right behind here. But unfortunately, I have to go all the way around to get to it. So <clears throat> the rules of the road. It is a lovely drive back here, though. Swing here. There we go. And then here. Perfect. Got all that loaded. Let's go ahead and take this over to McFadden Farms. I believe it's the only place that'll take it. So let's go ahead and do that. That's right over on the other side of the town here. Whoa. I couldn't stop at all. Holy smokes. Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pull in through the bay. There we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is going to be perfect. Wow. 50 grand for all that. Not bad at all. And that's going to be more than enough to buy what I want to set up here. So let's go ahead and head back to the... Uh, to where we just were with the fertilizer production. We'll head over there uh, with the oil refineries, well, not oil refinery, but the refinery as well. Um, and I'm gonna get a hold of my contractor, have him meet me up here to uh, put in new production, because I, uh, I think it's about time to start using some of the bales there at the farm. They're just kind of getting held on to and really not getting Put to any good use and really doesn't make sense not to so i am going to go ahead and do that we'll see in a little bit and there it is contactor came out and set me up with an uh, acetic acid production plant so let's go ahead so i think that Look at that. Perfect. And what's nice is I bring my silage here, it produces acetic acid, and it will create uh, compost. So I have another compost source. Uh, now where is the trigger? You know what? Let's go ahead and turn on the, uh, the markers because I have no idea. Oh, I've turned on the wrong one. Uh, aha! There it is. Yeah, look at that. So, for every 100 liters of silage, it'll produce 15 liters of acetic acid, as well as some compost. And then... Let's see, acetic acid. Oh, there it is. $748 per thousand liters, where normally silage, actually hold on, let me get the highs to highs. 1580 is the high for acetic acid. Silage, on the other hand, 342. So yeah, that's, that's quite a big difference between that. So it looks like I can put in here, now what I don't know is can I bring bales or not? Hmm. Think this might be something to test really quick to see if I can grab a bale and kind of use that as a, a test. And then if all else fails, then I'll have to somehow break it down into loose product and kind of go from there let's go ahead and turn that those indicators back off there we go all right i'm gonna run up to the whoa run up to the farm there and grab the bale trailer probably pick up a, a few bales just to kind of be safe and uh yeah go from there we'll see you in a little bit all right, back here at the farm. I'm going to go ahead and pull this trailer back into its spot. There we go. Nope, wrong one. There we go. All right, now go pick up the bale trailer just around the other side of this field here. Ooh, this road is rough. And so is that field. I don't know what happened to that field. Why the farmer hasn't uh, done anything to it. Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm one step ahead of myself. Meant to grab this. You know what? I might as well just grab 
the full allotment that I can. Really no sense in... Um, let's go ahead and just grab this. go all right let's go back up to that uh, ooh, that was a close one uh, let's go back up to the production point up there the acetic acid and see if it'll take these bales here's hoping seen a little bit all right I'm come up production site right here let's see what it'll do oh hey 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 Oy vey. There we go. Okay, pull in here. Come around over here. out to one side. Hmm. Well, let's try. Oh, I'll have to have to turn it around. Here, you know what? Shh, don't say a word. I'm not breaking the law, you're breaking the law! <laughs> ah, whoa there, buddy. Okay, now, let's try this way. <clears throat> well... I got my answer. So I've got to figure out a way to be able to turn all this into loose product. And the only way I can think of doing that is my, uh, my mixing wagon. So I've got to run back to the field, that field, to the farm and, uh, start putting all this through the mixer. We'll see you in a bit. All right. I am back here on the farm right here I need to grab my little tractor here Let's see drop that there turn this on now let's go grab the mixer whoops um, now you've been backing up to the right spot. There we go. All right, perfect. I think I can just unload it right into my silo and then I'll be able to take trips back and forth from there. The 
so I have a hundred thousand liters of silage in here already. I probably got quite a bit of literage on that trailer. Well, we'll see. Let's see where it gets us. Nice. Huh, I wonder why the bales just disappeared like that in the back. Hmm. Okay. Another 24,000 plus liters. I almost need to consider getting a some kind of trailer or something that'll hold more literage than what I have. You know what? I think I think I'm gonna do that, and I think I know exactly which one I'm gonna go for. These are not going into the silo, are they? No. No, okay. Alright, that should be everything. As long as that last bale doesn't fall off, then we should be okay. Okay. There. Nope. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my truck up to the store. And when they get there, it'll be able to make a purchase for me. Well, I'll be able to make a purchase. Let's see. There we go. 
I have them go up there for me, and now it's very slowly and very carefully take this over. I don't want to go too fast, or else that bale will just jump right out. I don't want that. go perfect 239,000 liters of silage that means that probably about a hundred and sixty thousand liters can go into the acetic acid plant which I don't even think I can hold that much but we shall see so park this right here where it was and now, go back and park the tractor, because we don't need it anymore. Perfect. All right, I'm going to head up to the shop there and purchase a trailer, so that way I can make as little trips as possible. All right, so I called ahead to order the trailer. They said it's here, so thankfully I can just go ahead and pick it up and go. And there it is. Excellent. This will work out perfectly for what I'm needing to do. I can hook it up right to my truck with no problems. And now... We've got a trailer that we can tow 70,000 liters plus the tipper back on my truck, which that holds almost 10,000 liters, I think. So combined total of about 80,000 liters, give or take. So I think in the end this will be uh, this will be just perfect. Oops, until I get caught up on curbs. Anyways. I'll go ahead and cut us out here and bring us back in as soon as we uh, get back to the farm. We'll see you in a bit. Alright, I am back here at the farm. Let's go ahead and pull in. We'll fill up with silage in both the front and rear tippers. Let's see, silage. There we go. Oh wow, 12,820 liters, so I was way off on the first count. And this is going to be 70,000 liters, so that's going to be 82,000 plus liters that I can carry in one trip. As opposed to before, it was just 12,000 plus, I think, it was about 20, 21,000. So quite a bit more than what was there previously. So I'm okay with this. I am definitely okay with this. Eighty two thousand eight hundred and twenty liters. And oof, my poor truck is gonna struggle. Lift up that neck a little bit. So I don't drag the the feed on the ground. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this over to the uh, acetic plant. We'll see you over there in a little bit. All right, I am here at the acetic plant. Let's go ahead and first drop that off. Ten thousand liters there. Go ahead and turn this on. You know, it's something that just dawned on me. 
if I'm only if I'm taking a hundred liters and making it into fifteen, that's a what a let's see fifteen thirty and there's sixty there's ninety that's a what a six to one ratio and it's a little bit more but three hundred forty two. Three forty two fifteen, so three three forty two times six. Ooh. So based on the losses, oh that doesn't take into account compost either. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. This this is fine. This is fine. Because I have a byproduct of compost and compost sells for a decent amount. Whew, I, I just got to thinking that the math I was doing earlier it didn't it just didn't make sense all of a sudden because I'm taking a hundred liters of silage and making into fifteen liters of acetic acid, but completely forgetting that I'm also getting sixty liters of compost, which sells for a pretty good amount too. So all in all, I'm not gonna complain. There we go. Oh wow, this holds a lot. Okay. What kind of... Alright, well we got three liters of compost. It's, it's going. Yeah, it's going. Alright, well... I'll run back and grab at least another load and load that into the uh, in the acetic uh, acid plant. We'll go ahead and uh, meet you back at the farm. See you in a little bit. I'm just going to fill up the back trailer this time. I don't have to fill up both the front and rear. And that should leave me with just about the same amount of silage as I have. Uh, well, actually, that'll probably leave me with a bit more. Let's see what it does. Because we got uh, 120,000 liters of silage. We're about eh, more than half full in the, in the trailer here. Let's see what we got. Um, so that's going to give us about 85. You know what? I'll back up and go ahead and... Yeah, I'll go ahead and back up. That's fine. Get another full trip. Oops. Too far. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Now I've got another full load, another 82,000 liters. Let's go ahead and head back over to the acetic plant. And drop this off. Whoa. All right, here we go with input number two. Whoa, too fast. There we go. So you figure the fuel refinery here, that's got compost, about 8,000 liters. This is going to produce compost. So yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of compost going around out here. Let's see what it says now. Yeah, it's chugging away. Awesome, check it out. 165,000 liters. And we should be good. So there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the farm. I'll see you over there. 
All right, I'm back here at the farm. Let's go ahead and find this place and uh, find this place. Find this trailer a new home. I think right down here, uh, next to the forge wagon or forge mixer. Nope. Thing I'm pulling next to. Why can't I ever remember this thing's name? Whoa, where did that go? It is called the Forge Pickup. That's it. Aha. Nice. So we've got a new trailer, which is a very nice multi use trailer. It kind of works like an auger uh, trailer as well. Uh, got a new acetic acid plant. Completed con several, several contracts. Where am I going? Several contracts. Was able to get myself out of all that debt hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a very short amount of time with all that grass care i think that would be an amazing place to leave this episode because like i said debt production we actually are ahead of the game by a hundred thousand dollars i'm uh, i'm happy with where we're at right now that's that's pretty excellent so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.